let's see how long it'll take for this camera to die. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a night shift tips video. A lot of you are either going to be on night shift during your nursing school or night shift when you start working. And I personally have been working night shift um, for a couple weeks consistently now. Um, I worked night shift when I was a CNA as well and I just have some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that I wanted to share with you all. Don't forget to follow up my social media, I'll have it right here for you all. And let's get into the video. So I don't really have a structure as to what this video is going to be laid out as. It's more going to be like just a casual talk. Like most of my videos are. Um, but for one... So I'm going to kind of go through what I typically do before my night shifts. Um, and then I'll go through the tips. So what my schedule typically looks like before I go into a night shift is... Usually the night before I'll sleep like I normally do and then I'll wake up a little bit earlier So usually around like 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. Sometimes I'll wake up. I'll go work out um, I'll eat and then the rest of the day is pretty much like just me sleeping um, so That's how I usually do it um, It usually fluctuates just depending the amount of sleep I get fluctuates just depending on a lot of different factors, um, but I'll share some tips as to what helps me sleep. So the first thing is probably like the most obvious thing. Um, I use melatonin. I specifically use this one, like the gummies. These ones are only three milligrams each serving, so two gummies, and that's usually what I take. Um, sometimes I'll only take 1.5 milligrams, and that'll work for me. But for nights that I can't really decompress everything, um, I'll go and do 3 milligrams. And I got this one from Walmart, but you can also get these from Costco. Um, these ones have been working for me, which is why I don't switch to, like, some people use the pill form. And then sometimes I like to cut the gummy in half, so that just helps and makes it easier. Like, I don't have to use a pill cutter. Um, other than that... Yeah, these have worked really, really well for me. So, definitely recommend these. They are a little bit pricey. They were like $9 just for this. No, like $10 for this. Um, so, I do recommend going to Costco for like a bulk pack. Another tip that I have is to use... Another tip that I have is to use blackout curtains. The curtains that I specifically got that finally worked for me, I got some ones from Amazon and those ones did not work for me. Um, they were still really bright, so I'd have to like layer it. But these blackout curtains that I got from these blackout curtains that I got from IKEA are like phenomenal. Um, they're like these navy blue ones that pretty much cover the whole panel because I have a pretty big window in comparison to like the normal window, and this one works out pretty well for me. Um, so yeah. So what I usually do is I, like, you can see the paper clips in between my, the two splitting. So it came with two curtains, so like one, and then you can pull the other. So you can open it like that. So I paper clipped the middle part so that I wouldn't see, like, the slit of light. Because I'm, like, really, really, really nitpicky about how much light can be in my room. So, yeah, if you're like me and you're really sensitive to light when you're trying to sleep, that's what I do. These ones were actually about, I think, $34 from Ikea, and it came with two. And that wasn't bad at all because I remember buying, um, I had to buy a double set from Amazon, and they were $25 each, which was actually really, really pricey. I know that some people also recommended Walmart. Um, I didn't actually look into them. But these Ikea ones I just happened to find one time when I was trying to shop at Ikea. Another thing that I use is this eye mask that I was actually gifted by Manta Sleep. So this one is actually really dope. Um, it's not like the normal eye mask where it just kind of sits on your face. This one comes with these little paddings. And they're actually adjustable so you can like pull off this part. I don't want to pull it off because I already adjusted it to my face. But you can pull off these and readjust them however you like. And the best thing about these are that when you when you put them on, 
it actually covers the whole part of your face which is like my favorite part about it because it it covers like all of your eye so when so when you have these on it like completely blacks out so I'm super extra and I need both the blackout curtains and this um, but most of the time when um, when I used to have the Amazon curtains these ones would help out a lot with just like blocking blocking out the whole like light so yeah definitely recommend these I think they're actually giving me a code um, I believe it's Jasmine 10 so if you want to go ahead oh shoot I okay well if you want to see what they look like they're like this and then you just attach it and then you just lay it flat on your eyes it's really cool pretty inexpensive I'm probably gonna bring this on my like vacation trip when I go to the Philippines and need to sleep on the plane yeah these ones work out really well for me definitely recommend another thing that I have noticed has really helped me in terms of sleeping is for me I have night shift from 7 p.m. to 7 30 a.m. I stopped drinking caffeine before 3 a.m. If I usually drink caffeine after 3 a.m., it's usually because I don't have work the next day. Um, but if I do drink it after 3 p.m., I start to get really jittery and it's really, really hard for me to go back to sleep when I get home. So instead of just drinking your caffeinated drinks after 3 a.m., I just recommend drinking water because that's usually what I'll do and it helps me get better sleep. My thing is blinking. Hold on, I gotta change my battery. Now that I changed back to my battery, I definitely don't recommend drinking caffeine past 3 a.m. because I feel like it makes me personally really jittery. I don't know, some people can drink it past 3 a.m. and still be okay, but I personally can't, especially if I'm working the next day. Another thing that I noticed was, especially during the winter days, I would get really freaking cold when I'd come back, especially if I'd shower right after work. Um, so. Because my Asian family doesn't like to use the heater, um, I bought this little baby heater off Amazon. I'm like literally not sponsored at all by Amazon, but it's like this little baby hot pink one that I got off Amazon that was like 20 bucks. And I just put it right up my like head of my bed and then I'll have it like blow while I'm taking a shower so it'll heat up my room. And it works really well for me because I don't know, like I have to sleep in a warm environment. Another thing you could do is also get a heated blanket, but I have a fear of getting like electrocuted. That's why I didn't get the heated blanket and I just got the heater instead because I didn't want like it physically on me. Another pro tip that I learned when I was actually at the yoga fest, if you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to have it linked down below. It's the OC Yoga Fest. Um, they were actually trying to promote to me these um, wooden sticks, basically a company that promoted sleep. And they had this little um, baggie that you put your phone in and it would essentially block off EMF waves. I was really interested in this because I was about to buy it. It was like a $15 like plastic bag and it looked like a Ziploc bag. So I was like, what the heck is EMF waves and what do they do? And just like, so EMF is electronic magnetic field. So... Essentially what this company told me was, I forgot, I totally forgot the name of the company, but it was supposed to promote sleep by blocking off these EMF waves. So essentially you put your phone inside the baggie and it'll block the waves. But another thing that I learned was instead of actually just buying that bag, you can literally just block the EMF waves by putting it on airplane mode. I don't know if this is a myth or not, but... I think it's more so I'm not on my phone when it's on airplane mode and then also a mix of like I don't get any messages. Um, but the way they explained it was when your phone isn't on airplane mode it's almost like these EMF um, waves are like tapping on you to like keep you awake. Um, and I thought that was really interesting to even hear. So now every time I go to sleep my phone is always on airplane mode, so if you try to contact me, there's like really no way to contact me. I noticed that I've actually slept a lot more and I've gotten better quality sleep when I put my phone on airplane mode. I don't know if that's just because I'm not on the phone as much and I don't get as many notifications until I actually open up my phone. 
but that's been working for me really really well so yeah those are pretty much my night shift tips um i feel like i'm forgetting some and maybe i'll just like add them into the description if i come up with any more but those are some of the tips that have been working personally for me um i just want to put a disclaimer that for every person it's a little bit different our bodies are all different and the way we're wired is very different so what works for me may not necessarily work for you but if you aren't able to get quality sleep and you haven't been able to sleep lately these are some things that maybe you want to try out um and yeah that's pretty much it for my <laughs> tips video i feel like this video is way shorter than i expected it to be but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video if you have your own tips that you want to share with other people down below shoot me a comment down below and i'm sure someone else in need of sleeping tips and night shift tips will be happy to read them down below um thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already followed my so thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already followed my social media i'll leave it right here and i'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.